It is often said that it is love that makes the world go round. However, without doubt, it is friendship which keeps our spinning existence on an even keel. True friendship provides so many of the essentials for a happy life. It is the foundation on which to build an enduring relationship. It is the mortar which bonds us together in harmony. And it is the calm, warm protection we sometimes need when the world outside seems cold and chaotic. True friendship holds a mirror to our foibles and failings without destroying our sense of worthiness. True friendship nurtures our hopes, supports us in our disappointments, and encourages us to grow to our best potential. Holly and Daniel come together as friends. Today they pledge to each other not only their love, but also the strength, warmth, and most importantly, the fun of true friendship. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome here to Gilling Old Mill. On behalf of the North Yorkshire Registration Service, my name is Karen, and it gives me great pleasure to conduct the ceremony for Daniel and Holly. My colleague, Claire, is going to record this very happy event in the marriage schedules, and we will produce the schedule a little bit later on. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. And you, ladies and gentlemen, are gathered here to witness the joining in matrimony of Daniel Elliot Harry Stanton and Holly Marie Lister. I hadn't planned to do a speech originally. It was only when Dan sat down to write his that I figured I should probably say something because it would be completely out of character for me to let him do all the talking. <laughs> probably at first. I actually can't describe how amazing it feels to have all of our favourite people in one place. It's a thank you to everybody for making the journey and coming all this way to celebrate with us. It's, it's really special. and Holly wish to marry through each other's company they have found fulfillment and love and as a consequence of this love they have drawn closer to each other and now wish to affirm publicly their relationship and to offer each other the security that comes from vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. Do you, Daniel, take Holly here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Holly, take Daniel here present to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I, Daniel Elliot Harry Stanton, take you, Holly Marie Lister, to be my wedded wife. I, Holly Marie Lister, take you, Daniel Elliot Harry Stanton, to be my wedded husband. and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends here this afternoon. All of us gathered here wish you every joy and happiness in your new life together as it is my privilege and my pleasure to say that you are now lawfully married, you are husband and wife. Many congratulations and Daniel you may give your beautiful wife a kiss. <laughs>
Today is a hugely important day for us. Uh, England have won four of their last seven games against Ukraine. <laughs> Good form at the moment, and football really will be coming home. <laughs> but for now, though, I want to focus on what today means to Holly and I. And I'd like to thank all of you for coming and sharing our special day. Uh, the last 12 months have been challenging, and whilst it seemed at times that this day wouldn't be happening, I'm honoured to be standing before you all, and I want to thank you all wholeheartedly for coming. <laughs> Unfortunately, travel restrictions and other circumstances more severe have meant a number of people important to us both are unable to join. So when we all raise a glass of toast, Holly and I know that they're toasting alongside us. Now, Holly. <laughs> Firstly, I want to thank you on behalf of everyone here. Almost everything about today, from the venue through to the food, flowers, musicians, and even the tables and chairs we're sitting at, have been tirelessly organized and arranged by Holly over the last two years. Um, I'll hold my hand up, I'd be more of a hindrance than a help. Um, and a massive congratulations in order for Holly and everything she's done today. It's hard to summarize all the, the key moments in our relationship over the last nine years, but before I met you, I'd never had anyone to truly confide in, no one to be fully openly emotional with or even shed a tear in front of. Um, I can't recall exactly when I fell in love with you, but I also don't know what it feels like to not love you. Uh, you've supported me through good times and bad, and whether it's changing my career path or handling personal struggles, you stood beside me, and I want to thank you heartily for that. Uh, a bit of emotion. I think, I think most people here will know that you've been keen to get married for quite a while now. Uh, whilst I've done my best just to buy a pet whenever the topic arises, put the pressure up. <laughs> When I finally got round to proposing and going down on one knee, I was ecstatic with how quickly you said yes. And it had nothing to do with going down on one knee on cobblestones and it being extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, nothing could have prepared me for how beautiful you looked. And I've been with you for almost a third of my life, and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of it with you as well. So I'd like you all to be outstanding and join me in a toast to my beautiful wife, Holly Stanton. <laughs> I didn't know what Dan was going to say today. Um, he's inherited Nigel's sense of humour, so I was pretty nervous. And, and looks, yeah, yeah, so again. Yeah. So Dan and I have been together a long time. We moved in seven years ago, which was two years into our relationship. And it's fair to say that we know each other pretty well. And we've learned a lot about each other in those seven years and, and the two before that. But before I wrap up, obviously Dan is way more to me than just a potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to some of you, he is young Dan. Yeah. <laughs> to some of you, calculator man. Yeah. <laughs> to me, he's those things, but he's, he's also so much more. He's my chauffeur. <laughs> He is my tech support, you're my electrician, you are the co-owner, co-parent, I should say, to my pets, you are my roommate and my best friend. <laughs> Dan always says that I stole his 20s from him, because we, <laughs> we met when we were so young, but honestly, you, you made mine. There is no one else I would rather have had at the aisle waiting for me today at the end of the aisle. Like, I'm so happy to finally be able to call you my husband. Yeah.